Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me on our normal Sunday. Today we have two Invicta Pro Diver slash Citizen Pro Master homages. These are model number 44834 and 44832. And just for fun, after that King Python review I did a couple weeks ago, I said, you know what? Let's go over to Invicta and see what they have. And man, Invicta's site never disappoints. Um, <laughs> I couldn't believe when I saw one of these models, I just, I just couldn't believe my eyes, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised knowing how Invicta loves to do homage watches. Um, I was still kind of shocked, man. I was shocked at the watch itself and I was really shocked at the price. Man, let's check this out. Thing, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel as y'all know I get a very small commission if you buy it from my Amazon store so whenever you do so I really do appreciate it also consider becoming a channel member for $4.99 a month you get access to uploads earlier priority comment chat responses buying and technical tips occasional member only live streams and the occasional watch giveaway only for members I hope you can join. Also remember that the Black Friday sale starts Friday, November 24th. You're gonna save a ton of money on a really cool watch, actually multiple really cool watches that I have. Uh, anyway, save yourself a ton of money and uh, join me on the 24th uh, for the Black Friday sale. All right, so this is your typical Invicta packaging. <laughs> Let's check this out. I mean, you know what you get. You've seen this a million times, not on this channel, but you've seen it other places. Fat Cat Collections. Anyway, um, you've seen it on other channels. So here it is. And I was like, okay, interesting. And then I looked at it closer. And if I can get it out of the box here. I looked at it closer. I'm like, man, that bezel looks really familiar. Hmm. What is Invicta trying to do here? And I was like, you know, instantly I was like, wait a minute, that looks like a Citizen Pro Master bezel. And sure as heck, that's exactly what it is. Again, this is an homage. So this is an homage to a Citizen Pro Master. Now it doesn't have everything correct, um, but let me give you the basic specs. Now this is going to be the same for both of these watches because I'm gonna bring out its, I don't know, baby brother, big brother, I don't know where this kind of falls in the lineup. Anyway, I'm gonna bring out another watch, but both specs are the same. So you're looking at, actually, let me go take it off the pillow. All right, so you are looking at a 48 millimeter stainless steel case. The real ProMaster is a 44 millimeter. Thickness is 12 millimeters. The real ProMaster is 11 and a half. Lug to lug is 54 millimeters. The real ProMaster, it's 50 millimeters. Uh, comes on a 22 millimeter silicone strap. The real ProMaster comes on a 20 millimeter. Water resistance is 30 meters, <laughs> which is 100 feet. The real ProMaster is 200 meters, which is 660 feet. And this actually has a Seiko PC32 movement in it that you can pick up on Alibaba or AliExpress for about three bucks. Uh, and of course, this has a flame fusion crystal uh, instead of just a regular mineral crystal. I mean, who knows? Anyway, those are the basic specs of this one. And they, you know they're gonna be the same for the next watch I'm gonna pull out. So I'm thinking Invicta said, you know what? We like the bezel, but let's go even further with the homage. So then they put out this watch Here's another one. And I saw this and my jaw just dropped. I was like, what is going on? So there's this one, okay? This is the 44834. And then Invicta said, you know what, we can do better. Guys, back to the drawing board, hold my beer. <laughs> Look at that. So I'm like, holy Moses. So now Invicta said, you know what, we need to do a better job with this homage. So now we have the 44832, 
Whereas you can see the same indexes, the same handset, the same font, the same uh, second hand, the, obviously the same bezel again. But it's like, you know what? For $9 more, we'll make a watch that looks even more like the original ProMaster. And I'll bring the original right here. So there's your original. And here is your homage Invicta on the left. Obviously, the size difference, you don't get 200 meters water resistance. You don't get uh, a screw down crown. Uh, you don't get a screw down case back. I mean, these watches are super, super cheap. And they're super cheap for a reason because they don't have all the real features that the real Citizen Pro Master has. It's just a much bigger, much cheaper homage of the Citizen Pro Master. But I mean, look at look at the indexes, man. They look literally identical. The handset, the orange is a different color a little bit, but the handset is almost identical. Yeah, the orange on the minute hand is brighter on the Invicta. It's a little more subdued on the original Citizen. But look at those indexes. I don't know how Invicta doesn't get their butts sued off for doing stuff like this. Anyway, the crown, same position over there at four o'clock. I mean, good grief, man. Obviously, the thickness is going to be a little bit different. Not much. As you can see, there's the thickness. Hold on. There is, I'm trying to get this the best picture for you. So there, that's about, so the bezel about is about the difference in thickness. Obviously, case backs. This is a snap case back. As you can see, let me go ahead and undo it here. No screw down case back. And you know, when I tell you how much these things cost, you're gonna you're gonna see why. So there's <laughs> there's like there's no finishing on the back you know, the back of the watch on the case. There's your Invicta snap case back. Obviously, you get a screw down case back with the OG Pro Master here. There you go. That's the OG case back. When I say OG, that's the one that has the um uh Citizen Eco Drive laser etched case back. I love these case backs. All right. So there's the, you know, there's the original. There you go. And there's the Invicta. But again, I'm just, I'm just shocked, man. I'm just, I mean, you know, intellectual property rights. I just don't see how Invicta is able to do this. It's just, it just amazes me. Anyway, let me go ahead and try this thing on. Let me go ahead and give you the full review of this thing. Let's go ahead and try it on. All right, there you go. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a bigger, you know, version or homage of the real watch because, you know, it's Invicta. They have to go bigger. That's just the way they are. Everything about this watch is bigger than the original. All right, let's go ahead and give it a loom shot. Let me kill all the, uh, the monitors here. Let's kill the uh, studio light. <laughs> let's give this thing a loom shot. Let me put the original back in the frame there. There we go. All right, so let's kill all this stuff. And guys, don't expect much, okay? So let me show you. In fact, you know what? I'll go ahead and loom them all up. There's a 4832 right there. Here's the OG real watch. The real citizen. Here is the 48, uh, 44834, I believe. So there you go. Now, as you can see, the citizen watch is brighter. It's going to last longer. In about literally, I don't know, a minute or two, these will fade where you won't even be able to see them. This just amazes me. Absolutely amazes me. Anyway, guys, there are your uh, your loom shots for all three. And again, man, <laughs> I just I mean, you can save yourself about two hundred and fifty bucks over the original if you want to get this Invicta. But I mean, why, 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 why? I mean, are there people out there that are this cheap? 
So when I say this cheap, guess how much, just take a second and guess how much this one is. I'm sorry, I take that back. Let me do this in another order. All right, so let me bring this one up here. So guess how much the 44834 is. Take a wild guess. I'll give you a second. This is only $39. 39 bucks. Of course, you know, the original MSRP that Invicta likes to do was $169. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and give it a rock bottom price. $39.90 for this watch. Now you got to remember the movement in this thing. The Seiko movement is only about three bucks. <laughs> so there you go. Now, guess how much the more accurate homage of the ProMaster is. Guess how much this one is. Take a guess, I'll give you a second. This one is only $9 more. So if you want a little more homaginess, is that even a word, or homaginess uh, to the Citizen Pro Master, spend nine bucks, you get more accurate indexes, uh, you get more accurate handset. Um, <laughs> everything else is the same, it's only 30 meters of water resistance, all the other um, specs are the same. So if you want to spend $9 more, you can get a more accurate homage of the Citizen Pro Master. There you go. Same thing, snap case back. Everything's the same, except for the indexes are different and the handset. Uh, they both look more like the actual Citizen Pro Master. So guys, I just wanted to bring you these things, man. Um, <laughs> you know, obviously they're super cheap. I mean, obviously they're an Invicta. They're going to make a much bigger but man, just go out there and buy the original. I mean, good grief. You know, save up for a few paychecks, spend the extra $200, get the real deal watch. I wouldn't trust this, you know, forget about 30 meters. I wouldn't trust this three meters below the surface of the water. Go out there and get the real deal. I mean, come on, guys. I, I just don't know why, but some people are just so cheap. I, I just don't get it, man. Anyway, um, so guys, I just wanted to bring you these. Now, if you got to go over to Invicta's site and get one, I guess go over there and get one. Again, this is the uh, 44832, and then this other one is the 44834. So if you got to, you know, get one, head on over to Invicta's site. I'm not going to give you the links for it because I just can't condone buying from Invicta. That's just me. But if you got to have one, you know, check it out. So anyway, guys, that's going to be about it for this one. I appreciate you watching. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. I really appreciate it when you do that. And, of course, you know I have a ton of reviews coming this month because of uh, Black Friday coming up. So I have some more stuff coming out very soon. Anyway, thank you so much, and I will see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.